What up? Tyler here at TarverAcademy.com and I want to talk to you about lesson plans. This is a message to principals and directors of curriculum instruction, assistant superintendents of curriculum. And you're like, who's this dude? Well, I'm a dude who's been those things ever since the student have the title. But I have had the chance to be in charge of everything from being the teacher, the principal, the uh, director. And I want to tell you, stop doing lesson plans. Please. We all know why you're doing it. You're doing it because it's what you've always done. How else are we going to know what the teachers are doing? But I want you to sit and really reflect. Who is reviewing all of these lesson plans the teachers are submitting every week? We all know what they're doing. They're taking their documents from the year before, they're finding it, changing the date, maybe rearranging some stuff, and they're putting it up. They're getting no value out of it. And what the principals are doing, if they're a decent principal who's busy, I don't know, either handling stuff that needs to be fixed or trying to make things better, they don't have time to sit and read anywhere from 10 to 100 teachers' lesson plans every week. They're checklisting. This is the principals making a checklist, and if they didn't send it in, they're saying, hey, I didn't get your lesson plans. You're wasting everyone's time going through the motions. What you need to do is you need to build a curriculum map that those teachers can sit preferably on a Google Doc because it can be shared and that way you don't have to have them send anything. You can go in and look at it at any time and it's mapping out what they're doing Monday through Friday every week for the whole year. I'll link below some templates you can have. Okay, You can change them, you can edit them. Once you find the one that fits your school or your, your building, you can send it out make a copy for all your teachers okay it's really easy to do that in google classroom just say make a copy for everyone and it goes into the folder for you it labels their names it's super easy the first year they're putting it in they're putting in what they're doing every day they're reflecting i recommend making things color coded green if it's good yellow if it's okay and red if it's not good that way the next year when they come in they have a co-teacher it's themselves from the year before they can go in and they can edit they can change they can look at it and go okay that's red i need to find a new video to put in that place or oh that's yellow i need to see if i can find a better um way to present this to the class and then they're reading their reflections hey this was a one-day lesson it should be a two-day or this was a three-day lesson i can do it in a day and a half okay they're reflecting on what they're saying and if it's shared subjects more than one geometry teacher everybody's in there sharing resources they don't have to use them but they have them and the principal can go in and look at any time and be like, hey, this is great. Use this max teaching strategy. Add this type of uh, method, okay? Or ask them, say, hey, how is this management on this? Because it looks like a great lesson. If they say it was good, cool, you're presenting in the next faculty meeting on it. I think it's great, okay? It's just so much more collaboration, and you're not just checking the boxes. You're actually getting something out of it every year. You can use it as a template. And then when you have brand new teachers come in that are teaching that, you can give them that. Make a copy of that. Hand it to them and go, hey, here is a full year's worth of resources and pacing. Please make it yours. It's, it's the skeleton. You build the body. Make it yours, new teacher, okay? Because if not, we know they're brand new teachers. They're struggling with classroom management already. And then now we're asking them, hey, figure out what you're going to do every single day at this point. No, we give them a template. They come in, preferably from a great teacher with a review template. After one year, you have it for every class, you know, adapt it, have objectives, have standards, or don't. It's up to you. Whatever fits that great in your building. So stop doing lesson plans. Have a map of your whole year, day by day, that you continue to update and build. It's better to have a living, breathing document than them throwing dead, shed skin back at you every single week for the whole year. Alright? So that's my message. Yeah, links in the descriptions to some templates if you want them. Hope this helped. Peace. Tyler, Tarver Academy. Subscribe.